A counterattack is defined as an attack made in response to one by an enemy or opponent, an ability that ruled the game of Dokkan Battle and can only be used by a handful of characters. So how did the most popular mechanic in Dokkan seemingly go missing for the past three years? Well, to find out what really happened, let's travel back to July 7th, 2016. Dokkan Battle is only a year and a half old and still in its infancy. The game has an obvious king who is completely unstoppable. His name is STR Goat Jita. Not this Gogeta, this Gogeta. But things are about to change for the King of Dokkan because today is the day Super Vegito drops and changes the history of Dokkan forever. Vegito was the first card to have a leader skill giving key plus 3 and a percentage boost to all stats. Mono AGL team skyrocketed to the top and absolutely dominated all events. There wasn't an event where Vegito and his team struggled, even against type disadvantage, you would bring him. Now, you may be wondering what made him so special. A lot of cards are capable of doing lots of damage, but not many can defend attacks the way Vegito could. He had one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful defensive passive skill in the game. Vegito would reduce the damage of incoming normal attacks by 70%, which is no joke even by itself. But he didn't stop there. He would then counter with tremendous power, meaning if he isn't getting super, he will slap everybody who dares to attack him into oblivion. The fans of the game absolutely loved this mechanic, and it was brought back for the next few iterations of Vegito. There was Physical SS Blue Vegito, Physical Super Vegito, Int LR Vegito, and STR LR Super Vegito. Besides these Vegitos, there are only 4 other cards in the game with the counter attack ability, and these guys are more or less jokes, so no one really used them like the others in any way, shape, or form. The downfall of counter attacks began around late 2020 and 2021. Vegito and all his forms began to feel the effects of power creep. Even the seemingly new LRSTR Vegito was starting to struggle due to his inability to transform into Vegito because of an annoying requirement. Even after receiving an EZA, the older cards couldn't stay at the pinnacle of Dokkan for long. It became less about the counter and more about the rest of their kit. The creators of the game felt that giving them a significant boost but also allowing them to still have the counter would be unfair so they were aged out again. They still worked on a few odd teams, but it was too late. People had already begun to turn their backs on Vegito. Events were becoming harder and more complicated, but because of the meta shift and how crazy enemies have become defensively, if we were talking about the likes of 1 to 1.5 million attack stat counters, it wouldn't help much, since the hard content enemies just have way too much defense and damage reduction that it would just end up being pointless. To give 10 counters dealing double or triple digits, it's a waste of time. The developers had come to the unfortunate conclusion that there wasn't quite a good way to implement counterattacks in a balanced way. It was either too weak or way too strong. Instead, they had committed to another idea, the exact opposite, which was super attack counters. This would basically allow a character to dodge a super aimed at them and counter with their own sort of super attack. This mechanic was a real hit with everyone and became a staple for most SSJ4 cards. It was just a shame because it couldn't quite fill the same hole in our hearts. At least we did get many other mechanics and great cards since then to keep us entertained. Many complain about the game, but I truly think we are in a golden age for Dokkan. Even if the devs fumble a lot of cards, there will always be more coming to keep us entertained. Getting new abilities and mechanics is the best part of Dokkan, so I really hope they find a new way to implement counterattacks since they would be so much fun against many of these new bosses that attack an insane amount of times in one turn. Anyways guys, let me know if you have any ideas on how Dokkan can possibly resurrect this lost passive skill ability in a way that doesn't break the game and doesn't disappoint fans. I think we are about to reach a new level of difficulty where they will be able to make their return. Especially how damage reduction and guards are almost necessary skills to attempt events like Merge the Masu. And with that being said, now you know how the most popular mechanic in Dokkan seemingly went missing for the past 3 years. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing to my small channel, liking the video, and commenting your thoughts.